Black holes, those enigmatic titans of the cosmos, have long captured the imagination of scientists, philosophers, and curious minds alike. Invisible to the naked eye, yet powerful enough to shape entire galaxies, these celestial phenomena represent one of the most profound and awe-inspiring mysteries in modern astrophysics. Unlike stars or planets, black holes are not defined by the light they emit, but by what they consume, and what they conceal. They are regions in space where gravity becomes so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. This immense gravitational pull marks the edge of our current understanding of physics. At the heart of every black hole lies the singularity, a point of infinite density, where the known fabric of space and time collapses into something astonishing and unknowable. The theoretical foundation of black holes dates back to Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, formulated in 1915. This revolutionary theory redefined gravity, not as a classical force, but as a warping of space-time caused by mass and energy. In 1916, just a year after Einstein's publication, German physicist Karl Schwarzschild found a solution to Einstein's equations that implied the existence of a gravitational point so dense that it would trap anything that came too close. He called it a dark star, a concept that would eventually evolve into what we now call a black hole. Initially, many physicists considered black holes to be mere mathematical artifacts, curiosities rather than actual astrophysical objects. For decades, they remained an unproven idea in the realm of theory. But by the mid-20th century, that began to change. As astronomical tools improved, scientists started gathering indirect evidence that pointed to their real-world existence. One of the first major pieces of observational evidence came in the 1960s through the study of the star system Cygnus X1. Astronomers observed a bright blue star emitting intense X-rays while orbiting an unseen companion. This invisible object exerted a tremendous gravitational pull, suggesting it had to be incredibly massive, too massive to be a neutron star or any known object. Eventually dubbed Cygnus X1, it became one of the earliest and most compelling confirmations of a black hole. Located roughly 6,000 light years from Earth, it revealed how black holes can siphon material from neighboring stars, forming luminous X-ray binaries that are visible from across the galaxy. But black holes are not merely cosmic vacuum cleaners, they are paradoxically both destructive and creative. On one hand, they devour stars, planets, gas, and dust. On the other, they help sculpt galaxies and regulate their structure. In fact, nearly every large galaxy we observe appears to host a supermassive black hole at its core. These gargantuan entities, ranging from millions to billions of times the mass of our sun, are thought to play a key role in star formation, galaxy dynamics, and cosmic evolution itself. Our own Milky Way is no exception. At its center lies Sagittarius A asterisk, a supermassive black hole quietly anchoring the galactic core. Though relatively dormant, its immense gravity orchestrates the movement of stars and interstellar matter around it. Occasionally, it flares up as it swallows small amounts of gas and dust reminding us of the powerful engine that slumbers at the heart of our galaxy. Despite their abundance, scientists estimate there may be over 100 million black holes in our galaxy alone. Directly observing them is incredibly difficult. Since no light escapes a black hole, traditional telescopes can't see them. Instead, astronomers detect their presence by studying their gravitational influence and the behavior of matter nearby. When gas and dust spiral into a black hole, they heat up to extreme temperatures, emitting powerful radiation, particularly in the X-ray spectrum. This forms what is known as an accretion disk, a brilliant, swirling ring of matter circling the event horizon. The event horizon is the black hole's boundary, the point of no return. Once anything crosses it, escape becomes impossible. One of the most fascinating processes associated with this boundary is spaghettification. As an object approaches the event horizon, the gravitational difference between its near side and far side becomes extreme. This tidal stretching can elongate the object into a long, thin strand, much like spaghetti, before it's torn apart and consumed by the singularity. And what lies beyond the event horizon? That remains one of science's greatest mysteries.
At the core lies the singularity, a region where our understanding of physics breaks down entirely. Here, density becomes infinite, and space and time lose their conventional meaning. It's a place where the laws of general relativity and quantum mechanics are pushed to their limits, and currently to their breaking point. Then came a breakthrough that brought the world face to face with one of these cosmic beasts. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, a global network of radio telescopes, captured the first ever image of a black hole's shadow. This historic photograph showed the supermassive black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, some 55 million light years away. The image revealed a glowing, donut shaped ring of light encircling a pitch black center the silhouette of the event horizon. For the first time, humanity had visual proof of a black hole. The EHT image did more than confirm a century of theoretical predictions. It also deepened our understanding of the black hole's structure. Surrounding the event horizon is a region known as the photon sphere, where gravity is so strong that light can orbit the black hole. Photons in this region exist in a state of limbo, neither escaping nor falling inward. At the very core, beyond the photon sphere and the event horizon, lies the singularity, a point where time, space, and the laws that govern the universe cease to function in any familiar way. The existence of singularities has led scientists to search for something deeper, a unified theory that merges the large-scale structure of general relativity with the subatomic world of quantum mechanics. One of the leading candidates for such a theory is superstring theory. Proposed and refined by physicists such as Michio Kaku and Edward Witten, superstring theory suggests that all fundamental particles are actually tiny, vibrating strings of energy. Each string vibrates at its own frequency, giving rise to the different particles we observe in nature. In this view, the universe is not built from point particles, but from musical vibrations of energy, like notes on a cosmic violin. What we perceive as matter and forces are merely different harmonies played by these fundamental strains. Superstring theory doesn't stop there. It also predicts the existence of extra dimensions, up to 10 or 11 in total, curled up so tightly that they're hidden from everyday perception. Much like a tightrope walker who perceives only forward and backward movement on the rope, while ants below them might experience additional directions, we may be unaware of these compact dimensions shaping the universe behind the scenes. Superstring theory is still highly theoretical, lacking direct experimental evidence. Yet, it holds tremendous promise in addressing some of the most puzzling aspects of black holes. For instance, it offers potential resolutions to the black hole information paradox, the question of whether information that falls into a black hole is lost forever or somehow preserved. Quantum mechanics insists that information cannot be destroyed, yet general relativity suggests it vanishes at the singularity. Reconciling this paradox could unlock the key to quantum gravity, a long-sought goal in theoretical physics. Black holes are not uniform, they come in different types. Some spin rapidly, and these are described by the Kerr metric, developed by mathematician Roy Kerr. Spinning black holes possess an outer region known as the ergosphere, where spacetime itself is dragged along by the black hole's rotation, a process called frame dragging. This region offers a tantalizing theoretical opportunity, extracting energy from a spinning black hole, perhaps even fueling futuristic technologies. There's even speculation about wormholes, theoretical tunnels through spacetime that could connect distant regions of the universe or even parallel realities. While still highly speculative, wormholes appear as solutions to Einstein's equations and are sometimes linked to rotating black holes. If stabilized, hypothetically using exotic matter, they could one day allow for shortcuts through the cosmos, or perhaps even time travel. For now, they remain firmly in the realm of theoretical physics and science fiction. Still, black holes are not just abstract ideas, they are active participants in the drama of the universe. Since 2015, detectors like LIGO and Virgo have been capturing the faint tremors of spacetime caused by black hole mergers. These gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of the universe, allow scientists to listen to cosmic collisions and study black holes in an entirely new way. 
Each signal gives us a glimpse into events billions of years old and helps map the population of black holes throughout the universe. At SPACELOOP, we aim to bring these cosmic wonders closer to you. Black holes remind us that the universe is far stranger and more magnificent than we ever imagined. They are not merely voids in space, but keys to unlocking the deepest truths of reality. Through continued exploration, be it with next-generation telescopes, gravitational wave detectors, or the power of theoretical imagination, we may one day grasp the full extent of their secrets. Until then, black holes remain our universe's most beautiful paradox, invisible yet influential, terrifying yet essential, known yet profoundly mysterious.